On this day in history, Lorenzo de' Medici, a.k.a. Il Magnifico, died. Like his father, he died of gout, leaving the city he ruled for so long in disarray. Like his grandfather Cosimo il Vecchio, he was a promoter of literature, science, painting, sculpture, poetry and philosophy. As a ruler, he was loved by the common people, but hated by the nobility whom he suppressed and tried to belittle in favor of him, his family and his bank. He was father of many children, amongst which Giovanni, the later Pope Leo X. He was uncle to another Pope, Giulio, the unlawful child of his brother Giuliano. Giulio was to become Pope Clement VII. Lorenzo survived the Pazzi conspiracy in which Pope Sixtus IV conspired to have him and his brother killed. In the aftermath, Lorenzo nearly completely wiped out the Pazzi family, but he saved Florence from being overrun by the Count of Urbino and Girolamo Riario, son of Pope Sixtus. His legacy exists of work made by people in his circle like Botticelli, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and many other great Renaissance artists. Later Medici rulers, like Grand Duke Cosimo I, thought him to be of greater importance to the family than Cosimo il Vecchio. This fresco was made for the reception hall of Palazzo Pitti. It shows Lorenzo looking at a work made by a very, very young Michelangelo thereby stating for the impressed visitors that the immense genius of the divine Michelangelo was first noticed by this art lover, Lorenzo de Medici, Il Magnifico. His death mask is on display in Palazzo Pitti.